Hello, and welcome to tonight's homework help for Wednesday night, November 7th, 2012. We're going to jump right in with variables on both sides, part 3. Okay, it says to solve the following. Show your work, or proof, and check your answers. Okay, a lot of people are still forgetting to check their answers, and they're losing that extra point. Um, okay, we've got uh, four problems on this side. I like this one. We haven't shown this. Uh, we haven't completely shown you how to do this one, so we're going to show you now. Um, so let me just set it up here. Um, so it says we have 2x plus 5x equals 4x plus 30. Okay, uh, if you guess that we could combine these two, add them together, you are correct. So 2x plus 5x would make 7x's, which equals 4x plus 30. Okay? At this point, you have a two step equation that you can solve on your own. Uh, uh, actually, this is a little bit more than a two step equation, but um, so let's go ahead and finish solving this one and I'll show you how to start the other problem too. So uh, I'm going to decide that I, I either want to subtract 7x from both sides or 4x from both sides. Well, I'm going to find it much easier if I subtract 4x from both sides, um, not only because it's a lower number of x's, avoiding getting a, a negative value in front of x, but uh, this will get the 4x off of this side, leaving just the numbers on this side and just x's on this side. So it'll work out really well to make the problem extra short. So I'm going to go ahead and subtract 4x from both sides. And here we get uh, 4x minus 4x is 0. And 0 plus 30 equals 30. So like I said, we got rid of the x's on that side. On the other side, we get 7x minus 4x is 3x. So we end up with 3x equals 30. Then I just divide both sides by 3, because that's the number that's attached to the x by multiplication. So we use the inverse operation, division by 3, so that those 3's will cancel. 3 divided by 3 makes a 1. 1 times x makes an x, which is equal to, well, we have to divide 30 by 3 as well, which is 10. So our answer is x equals 10. Now, if we want to be sure that we got it right, or we want to get full credit on this homework as well, we're going to check our answers. So what I suggest is you copy down both sides exactly the way it's written. 2x plus 5x equals 4x plus 30, but let's turn that equal sign into a question mark because from what we're going to do here, we don't know if they're equal and we're checking to see if they are. So we're going to work with each side of the equation separately and in place of x, we're going to plug in the number 10, as we can see, because x equals 10. So wherever we have an x, we're going to replace it with a 10. So let's go ahead and do that as this next step. I get 2 times 10 plus 5 times 10, and then that's, uh, we're not sure if that's equal. We're not going to claim it's equal, so we're just going to put a question mark equals 4 times 10 plus 30. Okay, and the next step, we multiply 2 and 10 and get 20, plus 5 times 10 is 50. And again, we're not positive they're equal, so we're just making a question mark equals 4 times 10 is 40, plus 30. Well, we know 20 plus 50 is 70, and over here, 40 plus 30 is 70. Is this a true statement? 70 equals 70? You betcha. So that means that our answer is correct. We did the problem correct, and that our value of x equals 10 is correct. Okay. Uh, on this uh, next problem over here, all we have to do is... Uh, to, to, for those of you that might have problems with it, just remember that we have to distribute the 3 inside the parentheses to each term. So this is what we were doing uh, last week with the distributive property. So 3 times 2a plus 3 times 4 equals 8a minus 4. And our next step that we multiply through, 3 times 2 times a is 6a, plus 3 times 
plus 3 times 4 is 12 equals 8a minus 4. I'm not going to solve the problem any further because at this point you guys should understand how to move the a's to one side and the numbers to one side and then solve for a. Um, so I expect you guys should be able to do that as well as the check. So be sure and check all four problems. If you don't check all four, you're not going to get full credit. Um, and I'll, of course, do all four problems. Okay, we're going to go ahead and move on to the back side in just a moment. Okay, here we are on the back side called toothpick triangles, okay? Lindsay uses toothpicks to make triangles in a row. One triangle is made up of three toothpicks. Two triangles are made up of five toothpicks. Three triangles are made up of seven toothpicks. It says three toothpicks make one triangle. Well, oh, that just repeats everything I just said. Uh, one says to draw the next diagram to show four triangles in a row. So here we have three triangles in a row, so we're going to have to draw another diagram. Let's start a whole new diagram here and draw a fourth one. Uh, draw it so that there's four triangles in a row. But draw that down here, because uh, there's not a whole lot of space over here. So draw that here. And then number two says, um, Lindsay, oops, let me move that back. Uh, number two says, Lindsay makes a table to show the number of toothpicks needed for rows of different numbers of triangles. So if you want one triangle, it's three sticks. Two triangles is five. Three is seven. Four, you're going to have to fill in your value here. Five whatever you think your value is, six, and the value of tooth, the number of toothpicks to make six triangles in a row. How many toothpicks are needed to make four triangles in a row? So then you answer that here. Write your answer in Lindsay's table. So you put that there. How many toothpicks are needed to make six triangles in a row? Explain how you figured it out. So after you fill this all out, um, you'll answer here how many it took to fill in uh, to make six triangles in a row. And then just write some kind of English explanation explaining how you figured it out. Figured it out. Uh, please don't show, say, I drew it or something like that. Explain what it is that you did to get it, okay? Because I do read those and I give credit if you give a thoughtful answer. If you get a, an un, a non-thoughtful answer, then I don't give credit for it. Okay, um, good night, good luck, go Bears! Rawr!